I would like to start by telling you a little about my strengths. I have amazing powers of concentration, a phenomenal memory of factual information. I excel at spotting patterns and errors. I'm very observant and I'm great at the details. I'm unfailingly honest and forthright, determined, tenacious and persistent. I am reliable, kind, compassionate, empathetic, and I have a highly developed sense of social justice and fairness. I am autistic. It is my superpower, but it also comes with many challenges. I want to share with you something of what it's like to be a child or an adult with autism. The child is part of the adult, so I hope you will excuse me weaving the two experiences together. I have superpowers, but I also have my kryptonite. It's called social communication, social demands and disordered sensory processing. Eye contact can hurt. I can often only process one sense at a time. If you ask me to make eye contact, which is hard, my ears may no longer work so well. In order to process smell, I need to close my eyes. Light touch can make me feel like I'm about to explode out of my skin. But deep pressure and heavy weights reassure me. Listening is hard. People sound so different. They talk at different late rates. They use different language to each other and are constantly competing with background noise. I may need to turn your words into pictures in order to understand them and to understand what you're saying and my pictures back into words before I can say them. Give me time to process. Don't assume that just because I can't speak, I don't understand. Chances are I understand everything. I struggle to recognise people. If I see them out of context, I don't know their names or how we know each other. I will confuse one, I will confuse one brown-haired boy for another. I struggle to read people's emotions and face expressions. I can get good at this, but it is very hard work, and I will be exhausted after a day of trying to work people out and communicate with them. That's why it's easy to be on my own, even though I may not want to be. People are a mystery. I think that because something is in my head or in my heart, you know about it. Our hearts are open. We feel things deeply. We forget that we are not open books. We often have a flat affect and we do not even know. We think we transmit our every thought into the universe when often we transmit nothing. People often think we are unfeeling, aloof, uncaring or closed off and this could not be further from the truth. The universe hurts and the injustices in it wound me to my very soul. I often have to block it out because I feel too much. I cannot watch the news. I can barely stand to hear it on the radio. To have two senses bombarded with other people's pain is way too much. I have anxiety, lots of it, about a lot of things, but people in my life may not even recognise it. And remember, my initial reactions when stressed are fight, flight or freeze. I'll always try to do my best. My best in that moment may be really, really awful and hurt people. I'm trying. Help me. If I'm stressed out, my words will fail me. When I'm anxious, I'm effectively non-verbal. Don't be confused if I'm swearing. That's not me speaking, that's just me downloading. And I'm so far gone, I cannot find any other words. I will often say what I think you want to hear. I am becoming a consummate actor. If I'm having a meltdown, it's all gone too far. I am not in control. I am not manipulating anyone. My release valve has popped off. When all the steam gets out, I'll be fine but you won't. I forget this, and if I'm a kid, I likely won't notice and won't understand why you are so upset with me. After all, I'm feeling okay now. You shouldn't forget. You're the adult. Be an adult. Let me be the kid. Stay calm or go somewhere where you can be calm, even if that is away from me. We are not master manipulators. We haven't got a clue how to go about it. 
Meltdowns are like a pressure valve being let off all at once. After all the small things that affect my sensory system or my anxiety have added up to be way too much. To reduce the chance of me having a meltdown, I need to let off the pressure a little at a time by taking breaks, moving, spending time with my special interest, taking deep breaths being mindful, meditating, doing some yoga, listening to music, or being in a quiet space. I want to love my life. Sometimes I don't. I have trouble regulating my emotions. This affects my interactions with others and also my problem solving. My first solution to a problem is often disastrous. Imagine what my first solution might look like if, for a day, a week, a month, or a year, I don't love my life. I just want to be me. Imagine every day in a thousand different ways being told you're not enough just as you are, that you need to change, that you need skills that you are lacking and don't even understand. Imagine being asked to conform so you don't stand out when you innately know that you are different. You don't know any other way to be. You'll have it figured out in a couple of decades, but just now, that knowledge is so far beyond your experience. Now imagine what it would be like for me to have people around me who give me space when I need it. Let me have my moments to decompress, understand that sometimes it is all just too much for me, who love me and accept me unconditionally. Look at me not as a kid with autism, but as a kid with superpowers. They're there. Help me find them. Don't try to be a genius. You don't have to solve problems on your own. Involve me and you will teach me valuable skills. Teach me how to empathise, learn perspective taking, how to be flexible and how to problem solve. These are skills I am innately lacking. Ask me what is going through my head. Sit next to me, draw pictures with me, be silent and let me tell my story. Talk less. Talk less. And please don't start sentences with, why can't you just? Sometimes I just can't. If I could, I would. I probably wrestle with sleep every night. I struggle to get to sleep and stay asleep. Sleep is the great reset button of the soul. If I don't sleep well, I carry all the emotions and anxieties of yesterday into today. Go easy on me on those days. Don't let my stims annoy you. They make me look or sound different. But if you get rid of the less obtrusive ones, I'll develop others that may not be so acceptable to you. I need them to decompress and process my emotions and the world around me. Use my special interests. Not against me, or for your benefit, but for mine. Use them to get to know me, to build a relationship with me, and to engage me in whatever we're doing. I see black and white. Help me find the shades of grey. Model making mistakes, they are one of my biggest fears. You cannot teach me to be flexible by being rigid. Rigid yourself, bend a little, give a little, make it our way, not your way. Otherwise, you're just modeling rigidity. Don't desire compliance, that way you miss the great ideas and innovations. Accept everyone for who they are. We are all products of our journeys. See me, not a person with autism. I am not the sum of my challenges. I am the sum of my superpowers. Harness them for the greater good, but also for me. And remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint.